thank you. You look gorgeous. I love your little shimmy out here. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to move when you see <laughs> this going on. Gotta, right? gotta, gotta do it. <laughs> how, how You have a cabin somewhere. I do, a right? cabin in northern Minnesota, yeah, oh, up in the nice. woods. It was oh. beautiful, did very it peaceful. Snow? Yeah, not a lot of snow, but uh, Christmas Day, there was a beautiful snowfall. All the trees were dusted. I mean, it was, you know, it's like Hans Christian Andersen land up yeah, there. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. And I know you, you're a great photographer. And you're very Thank artistic. You. And you usually give a bunch of handmade Christmas gifts to everybody. Well, did you get a chance to do that this I year? I didn't because <laughs> we literally shot... We were shooting right up until uh, the day before I left for Christmas, so it was, yeah, there was no time. Oh, no. So no time you, this year. Do you give people IOUs, like I no, owe you? No, no, no. I gather things as I go along, but I never had time to sit down and, like, make, I mean, usually I do, like, you know, uh, photography portfolios or books or things like that. This year I didn't have time to do it. I do love your photography books. You know, when I go downtown I always find your photography oh, books in the bookstores down there. And you really have quite an eye. Thank it, you, you know, so much. Acting is just like one of your many talents. Oh, well. Not many, but okay. <laughs> and, 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 but rumor has it that you had another talent when you, when you, were, you were growing up of writing uh, letters to yourself <laughs> from Rhett Butler. <laughs> well, yes, this is, <laughs> yes, I think I made the mistake at, I, I must have been 12 years old, of reading Gone with the Wind. This was even before I saw Clark Gable play this part, mm -hmm. so um, I fell in love with this character of Rhett Butler, and I did. I used to, I, I would sometimes handwrite the letters, but sometimes I would like, you know, do like those anonymous things where they like you cut words out of newspapers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I would piece together these letters, love letters to me from Rhett Butler. No kidding. Yes, and so then it would be signed Rhett Butler. <laughs> you know, you but I was like this little twelve-year-old girl on top, top. <laughs> on top of the skin. I mean, I've never seen somebody be able to so consistently access this gritty emotion the way you do. Yeah, I don't, I mean, you know, with a part like this, it was so great because this woman has huge swings, yeah. you know, I mean, she has this, I mean, this was a wonderful character to play. She has this tortured history and this, um, this kind of desperation and this loneliness, but she also has this tremendous compassion, you know, and um, this well of, she really, I, and that was the thing I wanted to make very clear, is she really loves this family, this group of people that she takes care of and nurtures and also is unkind and, you know, all the complicated, like, human emotions. So, um, but it was wonderful because you know, the way it was written, it's very big. The sweeps are huge. Mm -hmm. The, you know, emotion, the rage is enormous. The, the sorrow is enormous. So it's, it's a fun is, character to is play. Is that when you say it's your favorite season of the four you've been on the show? Well, yes. I mean, I think because of that character, but also because of the group of people. You know, we mm -hmm. really were like this kind of troop of gypsies. You know, it really yeah. began to feel like a carnival. Yeah. And we were this you know, kind of a uh, fascinating group of misfits, like all living and working together. And it was really quite an extraordinary year. Well, you are extraordinary, and we so enjoy watching you. Good luck at the Golden Globes. Oh, thank you. Well-deserved. Well-deserved nomination. Make sure you check out American Horror Story Freak Show Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on FX. Like, I no, you no, no, no. I gather things as I go along, but I never had time to sit down and, like, make... I mean, usually I do, like, you know, uh, photography portfolios or books or things like that. This year I didn't have time to do it. I do love your photography books. You know, when I go downtown, I always find your photography oh, books in the bookstores down there. And you really have quite an eye. Thank it, you, you so know, much. Acting is just, like, one of your many talents. Oh, well... Not many, but okay. <laughs> and, 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 but rumor has it that you had another talent when you, when you, were, you were growing up of writing uh, letters to yourself <laughs> from Rhett Butler. Well, yes, this is, 
Yes, I think I made the mistake at, I, I must have been 12 years old, of reading Gone with the Wind. This was even before I saw Clark Gable play this part. Mm -hmm. So um, I fell in love with this character of Rhett Butler. And I did. I used to, I, I would sometimes handwrite the letters, but sometimes I would like, you know, do like those anonymous things where they like, you cut words out of newspapers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I would piece together these letters, love letters to me from Rhett Butler. No kidding. Yes, and no. then it would be signed. Rhett Butler, <laughs> you know, but I was yourself. like this little 12 year old girl on top, <laughs> on top of the skin. I mean, I've never seen somebody be able to soak the skin. I mean, I've never seen somebody be able to so consistently access this gritty emotion the way you do. Yeah, I don't, I mean, you know, with a part like this, it was so great because this woman has huge swings, yeah. you know, I mean, she has this. I mean, this was a wonderful character to play. She has this tortured history and this um, this kind of desperation and this loneliness. But she also has this tremendous compassion, you know, and um, this well of... She really... I, and that was the thing I wanted to make very... takes care of and nurtures and also is unkind and you know all the complicated like human emotions so um, but it was wonderful because you know the way it was written it's very big the sweeps are huge mm -hmm. the you know emotion the rage is enormous the the sorrow is enormous so it's it's a fun is, character to is play that one you say it's your favorite season of the four you've been on the show well yes i mean i think because of that character but also because of the group of people you know we mm -hmm. really were like this kind of troop of gypsies you know it really yeah. began to feel like a carnival yeah. and we were this you know, kind of a uh, fascinating group of misfits, like all living and working.